is a long line for paid song requests. <laughs> it's not a long line. Will you get the girl or will you play like one? That's what it said on the advert. Back then, yeah, nobody gave that much thought, right? But right now, you could not run that advert. <laughs> you could not run that advert. And then Mortal Kombat, yeah, when that came out, oh, that was crazy. The the queue for Mortal Kombat uh, at the arcades when that came out was nuts. I oh, used to call Bank of School uh, Twaggin. Twaggin, okay. Yeah, I remember like, in the uh, arcades of Mortal Kombat, they didn't tell you how to do the uh, the fatalities. That thumping beat, though. Listen, if you're not moving to this beat right now, favorite Street Fighter character, Ken, definitely Ken. Favorite Mortal Kombat character, Scorpion, of course. I ain't saying Sub Zero is rubbish. He's not rubbish. I'm not saying that. But is he better than Scorpion? Come on now, bruh. How can we possibly have the slightest idea? Look at this. That, that's six back. Mm. That's my bitch up. That my bitch up. But th during this era with um Smack My Bitch Up with um Firestarter and um just the, the whole album, that, that whole album, I feel like this was prodigy when it just excelled. Like they were just you know what I mean they went from being big to astronomical during that period. That's that's how it felt to me anyway. What music did you use to play to pull a girl? Oh well. I did send a girl a note once with a Prince song lyric on it where it said, uh, could you be the most beautiful girl in the world? You're the reason why God made a girl. That's a Prince lyric. So yeah, I guess, I guess, uh, I guess, what well, I guess that song, um, didn't work though. She didn't, she didn't uh, go out of me. So, oh. With my girl on the sheet, tearing off tights with my teeth. <laughs> Saying it means when a guy goes down on a woman. Back in the 90s, if a guy eats out a girl, we call that bow catting. This guy's got a growly voice, hasn't he? Yeah, this guy's got a growly, growly voice. Oh, I don't know, where you go? Where? Yeah, it was in Fight Club. That's a good movie as well. That's a classic movie, Fight Club. Here on a Miss Bosch. But he was a painter that did these weird ass paintings. And I think this, yes, the God of Earthly Delights is the one that it was really based on. But yeah, for those who might not know, Metallica's Until It Sleeps video was styled after this painting by Hieronymus Bosch. It's called the God. Oh, flipping hell, man. Bloody. The f Let me start earlier. Like many of you, I was stuck. No, you can't die from insomnia. I mean, this movie came out in 1999, and it's still relevant. It's still talked about. It's still on point. There are seven deadly sins. Gluttony. You want to come take a look at that? Kevin Spacey's, yeah. He, well, yeah. <laughs> Uni generated Doctor takes on the master on the return to me, but this is like in New York or something. It's like Doctor Who in America. It didn't go down too well. Eric Roberts is in it. I, I kind of like this movie actually, to be honest. I thought it was okay. Sorry, Kylie. It's a great song, but it's just a little bit too mo modern for today's stream. I'm sorry, Kylie. I don't know if people really, I mean, Kylie Minogue is a legend, right? I mean, let's be clear on that. And I know there's a lot of, she's got a lot of songs that a lot of people love, but still, this, this song is pretty incredible still, so yeah. Yeah, Kylie Minogue, oh, mate, like, people need to recognize just how legendary Kylie is. Like, I'm trying to pause it there, pausing her lips for a moment, just because, why not? Um, but yeah, Kylie Minogue's been singing since the 80s, right? And still going now. And I, I saw when she released her, her last album, uh, it's called Disco, it became, she became the first artist to have a number one album in five different decades. Cool. Shah Rukh Khan's legendary as well, by the way. For those who don't know about Bollywood movies, Shah Rukh Khan is probably the biggest Bollywood star on the planet right now. Well, maybe not right now. I don't think he's acting as much as he used to these days, to be honest, but still. If you ever find yourself at a party where they're playing um, Bangra and you don't know what to do, here's a quick tip. It's called screwing a light bulb. And what you do, you screw in a light bulb and then you change hands. 
Screw the light bulb. So here's the thing, yeah? My brothers and I kind of had this tradition where we'd play this game like every year, like all four of us will play this game every year, you know, race each other and always talk about who's the best. Of course, I'm the best at it. Let's be clear on that fact. <laughs> Let's be clear on that fact. I'm the best at this game. Like, you give me Peach and I'll own everybody. I'm, go I'm, I'm going to guess that Road Rash was a better game to play than it is to watch because it, it doesn't look too interesting, to be honest with you. I don't think I've heard a song, but I feel like that's maybe a sample from something. Consider it's 1992, the graphics look pretty alright, you know. This song was written after Michael Jackson was super pissed off about a lot of things, um, like the way he's been treating the media and things like that, and he just apparently went to the studio and just wrote a whole bunch of songs, this was one of them. This bit coming up. This bit, this classic. Ooh, look at this. People still copy this dance moves till this day. Till this day. That's who was me and Primark today. <laughs> Let's appreciate the makeup for a second, because this was um oh, 90s. I don't even know. Does it say 90s? It was it was 90s. <laughs> it was 90s. But let's appreciate the the makeup on this for for a moment. I don't know if you get too many of these these days, but this is what you would call a rock ballad. Would you hold me down with holy water? Would I get too hot? <sighs> great song, great movie. This is Gangsta's Paradise featuring LV. Because you and your homies might be lying in job. Uh, what's it called? This is, uh, what's the spoof of this movie called? Um, high, oh, high, high School High. I'm 23 now, but will I live to see 24? The way things are going, I don't know. Yeah, I think um, for things to get better, but I think for things to get better, it's going to have to be a lot of pride swallowing. There's going to be a lot of self-reflection. There's going to be a lot of like self-honesty. Thoughts on OG Jumanji and the Mummy? Oh, okay, OG Jumanji. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was with um Robin Williams. Yeah, it's a great film. I mean, I did like the remake. Um, I didn't. I, I did like the remake. I thought it was okay. I don't necessarily feel like it needed to be done, <laughs> but in all in all honesty, it's it's a pretty decent enough film. But yeah, Jumanji the original was was just it just hit at every point really. They're, they're they're very different movies. The most recent one though is. Mm, this one's pretty okay. Like, I feel like the problem I had with this movie, I, I felt like some of the jokes didn't quite land well with me. They, 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 I felt like they were a bit forced and not really that necessary. But overall, you know, it had its charm. We gotta get to Gypsy Woman. Yes, from the song earlier, I was trying to remember that beat. People who dislike this song should get a COVID test. One of the main symptoms is no sense of taste. Big up Ava Marie. Dance. I watch the speakers like booms are killing your brain like a poisonous mushroom. Deadly. Back when this song came out, yeah? Bare people love this song. When anybody tells you they did not like this song, they are lying, fam. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. That's the way theirs goes. Ours goes ding, 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 ding. That little bitty change. Oh, let's pick another nineties video game to watch. Oh, mate, what's what's I playing in the nineties? I don't think I know this song to be honest with you. I know this game though, Golden Axe. This film is so funny, and I'm sure a lot of it is intended, right? It's humor is intended, but when you watch the film, it's like. It feels like it's not really supposed to be funny. Like the things they go, they go through some horrible circumstances. The thing about the Titanic is one of these movies, everybody's seen it, let's be honest. Everybody has seen a, a Titanic. Like I wouldn't say I, I like the movie. I, I don't hate the movie, certainly. Like it's okay, but I think it's one of these films because it's so big and so epic, you can kind of just appreciate the fact that it exists. The last I heard she was singing a lot in, a, in a Las Vegas. My understanding, is that when singers get offered these 10 years in Las Vegas, there's a lot of gangster money involved. I remember this song. I get knocked down as we look at uh, Twisted Metal 2. So I don't know if you don't know the song that I'm about to play. But if you don't, then yeah, you need to get ready to jump. The Mac Daddy and the Daddy Mac. Chris Cross won't make anything today. Jump, jump. Jump, jump, cause inside out, it's wiggity 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 whack. 
My God! Look at look at, at her butt. butt. This is so, so big. big. Big up Nicki Minaj all day, every day. But D did not make this some fucker. You gotta get that right. No. Yeah, stick it out. Even the white boys got to shout. Baby got back. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. <laughs> Baby got back. Big up this track. I didn't realize it was 1992. I thought it was an 80s song. I don't know why I thought it was the 80s song, but for all this time, I thought it was an 80s song. But it's a 90s song, and we're doing 90s uh, reactions today or 90s appreciation today. So we're playing this song. We just played it, and I'm telling you, oof, poetry, man, a poetry. Has this been remastered or something? Because this looks nice. You got to take the dance in this video, though. The dance in this video is pure 90s. It's your eardrum like a slug to your chest. The pack of best to your Jimmy in the city you say. It's not just fast though, but it's just like the, the style they go through with it. It's not just the speed, it's like there's something about the way they rap. I think you can always appreciate just like passion and realness. You can always appreciate just like when somebody is like talking from there, you know what I mean? Stop, drop. Shut them down, open up, shut. Oh, Eve. Eve. Big up Eve. Let me just end on Lisa Loeb. So, yeah. Lisa Loeb, take us out. One of my favorite songs. If you don't know this song, it's from a film called Reality Bites. Uh, you sound like a grim, a grim a grime, a grime rapper. Okay. <laughs> Big up the man named Still, innit? <laughs> Big up the man named Still. <laughs> he had the line was my but I was a big, well, I guess I said I'm a Lisa Loeb fan, but I was big into Lisa Loeb and her music back when this came out and buying her albums and yeah. I think this video was di um, directed by Ethan Hawke. Yeah, yeah, it was directed by Ethan Hawke, who stars in Reality Bites, by the way. Ethan Hawke stars in Reality Bites, and that film was directed by Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller, who went into Doom, Tropic Thunder. That's the last thing I'm gonna do today. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to, there's so many classics, so many legends, I know, I know. But boy, it's been over, it's been nearly five hours. Oh, it's, I just seen another one, The Verve, Bittersweet Symphony. Oh mate, so many classics, man, so many. But yeah, that's one of my favorite songs of all time. It really is. And Lisa Love is one of my favorite artists of all time. Um, but I honestly feel like she's just so unappreciated. Like, I feel like a lot of people know that song, but her back catalog is extensive and brilliant. Like, she's just got some amazing songs that I don't think that many people even heard of. No, she's got a fan base, of course, and there's that, but she's just got some of the most amazing songs you've ever heard, or I've ever heard. Um, and certainly some of the songs that have, like, been important to me in my, in my early days growing up. So yeah, big love to Lisa Loeb, man. Big up to Lisa Loeb all day, every day. But yeah, appreciate you guys, man. Big up everybody coming through. Um, I'm kind of repeating myself at the moment, so let me just say, till whenever, if ever, peace. Ah. I should have turned my microphone off before I exhaled, but oh well. You just heard me exhale. Ah. Because if I didn't say anything rude. <laughs> Laters, guys.